kidney warriors james here from dadvice tv your online kidney health coach and if you have done any research about kidney disease you have come across all sorts of kidney myths and conflicting information from magical herbal treatments to flat out diet lies well we are going to dive into the most common myths and find out what the truth is only unhealthy people get kidney disease false kidney disease does not discriminate anyone can develop kidney disease throughout their life now it's true that those that have uncontrolled blood sugar uncontrolled high blood pressure are more likely to develop kidney disease it can come after anyone that is why it is important to have your kidney health checked each year when you go for your yearly physical with your doctor that way you can catch issues early and then take steps to manage it and prevent further kidney damage it's also very common to feel great and healthy and have kidney disease without knowing it that's why that early detection is so important there is nothing you can do to prevent getting kidney disease again false now while there are many causes of kidney disease including genetics for most people, by living a healthy lifestyle, you can prevent developing kidney disease. And a healthy lifestyle includes keeping your blood pressure, your blood sugar under control, maintaining a healthy weight, staying active, and eating a healthy diet. The renal diet is so restrictive, there's hardly anything to eat. False. Outside of star fruit and black licorice, you can eat practically anything. The important question is how much can you eat? And that's why working with a renal dietitian will help you determine what your body needs as far as a minimum for key nutrients and what's a maximum you need to not exceed for those. Then you get to make choices about what you want to eat and how much you eat so that you hit those minimum targets without exceeding the maximum. Any websites pushing highly restrictive diets are not backed by science or renal dietitians. The right supplements can restore, repair, rebuild, flush, or restore your kidney function. False. Now, supplements can play and probably will play an important role in your treatment strategy supplements are there to address deficiencies in your diet taking supplements you don't need well it's just going to cost you money and you could be causing harm including accelerating the loss of kidney function find out what supplements are right for you by working with your doctor and a renal dietitian cranberry juice is good for your kidneys false while it's okay to drink cranberry juice it's not going to do anything magical or special for your kidneys when you drink something your body sees the nutrients that are in it and most juices are loaded with a lot of sugar if you want to drink some juice go ahead and drink some just don't overdo it and don't expect it to do anything miraculous your kidneys hurt if you have kidney disease false while it is rare to actually have your kidneys hurt it's usually caused by kidney stones a kidney infection or polycystic kidney disease in which cysts are growing in your kidneys and it's swelling up and you're getting pressure and pain from that if you think your kidneys hurt chances are it's probably something else so let your doctor know so that they can look into it and determine the real cause so you're not overlooking a real problem when you get to stage five kidney disease you got to start dialysis false doctors now know that the right time to start dialysis is when they can no longer manage the symptoms and any serious conditions that you have caused by your reduced kidney function it's not a specific number but it typically is around a gfr of five to seven now some people will need to start it earlier but the majority of people do not 
and starting dialysis unnecessarily early does not improve your life expectancy and it has a negative impact on your quality of life. To find out the right time that you specifically should start dialysis, talk to your doctor. You may be surprised how far away it is. Over-the-counter medications are safe and will not hurt your kidneys. False. Now, while over-the-counter medications are typically safe when used as directed, some can be harmful for those who have kidney disease. And some can cause kidney damage when used in large doses or for extended period of time. Always read the directions and follow them when taking over-the-counter medication. And if you have kidney disease, check with your doctor before you add anything new. There's nothing you can do to slow down or stop kidney disease. False. Most people can directly impact the speed at which their kidney function declines by living a healthy life. That means staying active, managing your weight, keeping your blood pressure, your blood sugar under control, following a good, healthy diet. All of these can easily slow down and in some cases even halt the declining kidney function for decades. Kidney patients must avoid avocados, bananas, tomatoes, and <gasps> oils. <laughs> so false. Nothing could be further from the truth. Now, if your kidney function is extremely low, you may have to reduce your intake of some nutrients. But that doesn't mean you need to completely avoid foods that contain them. You just got to watch how much you eat. And if you work with a renal dietitian, they'll help you determine how much your body needs and what's the maximum you can have in a day. Then you make the choices of what you eat and how much you eat. So you're getting what you need to stay healthy, stay active, keep your energy up without getting too much. And when it comes to this voodoo, avoid oil stuff, oh my goodness, that is not backed by science. It is not backed by renal dietitians. This is the same fake science that says drilling a hole in your head will release the spirits. We have gotten out of the dark ages and so should your diet. And last... Life with kidney disease is just too difficult. False. Life with kidney disease is different. That's true. You're going to be focused on living healthy and keeping active. And that's a good thing. I've met countless people that were on a path to an early grave. Their health was not a priority. But once they were diagnosed with kidney issues, they took their health into their own hands and started making diet and lifestyle change. They became healthy. They started eating better. They stopped going to all that fast food and eating all that highly processed food. They got their weight under control, their blood pressure, their blood sugar. And by doing all those things, they actually extended their life expectancy and improved their quality of life. And remember, there's a lot of us kidney warriors out there. About 10 to 13% of the population has kidney disease. The majority of them aren't aware of it yet, but we have a great community that is very helpful and very supportive. So life with kidney disease is different, but life with kidney disease can be great and fulfilling. And there you go, 11 myths about kidney disease debunked. Now, if you have kidney disease, I strongly urge you to work closely with your healthcare team. That's your doctors and a renal dietitian. Don't try to figure out diet alone. Go work with a renal dietitian. Not working with one is the biggest mistake I see kidney patients do. You can learn a lot online, but all of our diets are unique to us our health, our lifestyle, the environment we live in, and so many other factors. And a renal dietitian is the person that's going to help you figure out all the puzzle pieces so that you can move forward to a positive and more healthy future. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next video.